Welcome to the upgraded Ignite Funding Client Portal. Following your successful login, you will discover seamless integration with our main website conveniently accessible via the navigation bar at the top of the page. At the bottom of the homepage, you will find convenient quick references providing easy access to navigation options right at your fingertips, but it's the stuff in between that really matters. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will notice the Like Us section, presenting an opportunity to refer a client. Upon the opening of their account and their initial investment, you'll be rewarded with a $100 gift card as a token of our gratitude. Additionally, you have the option to leave a review regarding our services and the investments we offer. Those reviews play a crucial role in attracting new investors and borrowers, ensuring the provision of top-tier investment opportunities. Directly below the Like Us section, you will find the latest Ignite Funding Audit Financials. These financials are identical to those available through our regulatory agencies, eliminating the need for a separate request. Now, let's move on to what you've been waiting for. Within the My Account section, you'll discover crucial account details. At the top, prominently displayed, will be the authorized primary signer, account name, and account number. Here you'll also observe the total invested amount as of the date of entry into the new Ignite Funding Client Portal, the pledged on investment amount awaiting assignment or funding, the remaining amount required to return to your peak investment level at Ignite Funding, and the total interest accrued to date with Ignite Funding. Following this, the subsequent section outlines the account type and status. In the case of multiple accounts linked to the same primary authorized signer, each account will be listed accordingly. Should your account status not be designated as active, it is imperative to reach out to Ignite Funding promptly to ascertain the reason behind the restriction. Now let's dive into the Statements and Transaction Details section that includes new exciting features. Here, you'll have two convenient options at your disposal. First, you can generate a monthly statement by choosing the desired year and month, followed by clicking on the Download PDF button. You also have the flexibility to opt for a custom date range. Simply select both the start and end dates before clicking on the Generate Report button. The data output will exclusively encompass the selected date range, clearly indicated at the top. Following generation, you have the choice to export to PDF or export to CSV for your convenience. If you download a PDF statement, you may notice a few improvements. Take a look around and let us know if you have any questions. The next section is how you will toggle between the account statement overview and the investment allocation details. Let's delve into the account statement overview. Firstly, if you're curious about the significance of these totals, simply hover over the question mark icon to reveal the concise definition. The subsequent section presents a comprehensive breakdown of your interest earned over the last five years, as well as year-to-date figures. These totals are displayed for both annual and monthly intervals on the accompanying charts. In the Investment Diversification section, you'll see a detailed representation of borrowers, states, loan types, and loan subtypes. For further exploration, navigate to the Investment Allocation tab. Here, you'll find a granular breakdown of each loan, including its unique loan number, initial investment date, amount, maturity date, interest rate, total interest earned, and current principal balance. When you click on show line items, the transactions within the date range selected will display. If you are currently on a loan undergoing forbearance, look out for a distinct green bar showcasing the latest information pertaining to a loan status and relevant details. Should you find yourself on a loan that has defaulted, there will be a red bar displayed with the latest updates pertinent to default situations. Additionally, you'll have the option to select See All Default Updates to access a comprehensive history outlining the progression of events related to the default. In the Support section, you'll discover contact information for your designated investment agent at Ignite Funding. Here you can easily reach out for any assistance or inquiries regarding your investments. The next section we will review is dedicated to taxes. Here you'll be able to conveniently access your tax information for each year. You can expect to find your 1099 INTs by January 31st annually. If applicable, K-1s will be available by April 15th. The next section we will go over is default information. Previously, you would have accessed this data directly on the Ignite Funding website with the required separate login. However, it is now seamlessly integrated into the new Ignite Funding client portal. Simply click on the Defaults tab to delve deeper into the details if applicable. On the right-hand side of the site page, you will see the Help section. In this section, you can find video tutorials as well as FAQs. 
Congratulations on successfully navigating the new Ignite Funding Client Portal. We trust you'll appreciate the enhancements that we've made. Should you have any questions or require assistance with navigating the portal, please do not hesitate to contact us at 702-941-7917 or email us at clientservices at ignitefunding.com.